Alright, so I'm back and my last new figure on um, this Chug Mainline Kick. Uh, again, like I said, I was just going through Walmart and I'm like, man, look at all these new figures. Is the Armada Megatron. So this is leader class. Um, and yeah, um, rolls. It's a tank. It's like that H tank uh, design. Uh, this rotates side to side. It actually, it also folds out to the side if you need to do that. Just, you know, just in case you have to. Um, the turret, uh, or the t this piece, uh, goes up and down. Um, this piece here will fold up. Um, I do think, you know, because of the way it's designed, you have to put a lot of pressure on that, and this isn't very ported in well, and I don't see a, much of a purpose to have it do that. So it's like that, they shouldn't have done it that way. Um, yeah, so do these open up? Kinda looks like they do. No. All right, yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, other than that, it looks pretty good, so. All right, so let's just get them transformed, shall we? So flip this panel, or let's do the legs first, I guess. Uh, pull the legs out like this. This piece here only kind of tabs in. It, 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 there is a tab and it does plug in there, but it's not like a super secure connection either. So fold this in, that locks in, that locks in. Flip out the feet and the heel spur. Just like that. Um, we rotate the waist around. You can flip this piece here out to kind of get it out of the way. All right, there's the legs, arm-wise. Um, so you take these black, or you take this whole assembly here, fold these pieces here up, and then this will come down and this friction's in like this, and then you can pull this up like this. Fold this down, and then fold the arm out and down. Close, close, do the same thing over here. I say do the same thing over here, and I do it completely different. <laughs> close that up. And flip out the hand. And then you can open up this torso here. And this piece here will flip in, hiding the mask. And there you go. Pretty simple transformation overall, uh, especially if you are familiar with the original figure. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I love the silver, the black, the green. I've, I, I've, I've always been a fan of this design of Megatron. Um, like not at first. I guess not always, but I, I've always. After I got the Galvatron, um, it was on sale one day at a Walmart, and I picked that up. And after I actually got it in hand, I'm like, you know what? I kind of do like this. And then ever since then, it's like it's grown on me more and more and more. And to me, this is a... Pro for me, and I'm not saying for everybody, but for me, this is probably my more favorite version of Megatron than the G1. Like, if I were to sit here and give you my favorite... Megatrons. Uh, the first three are going to be Beast Wars. <laughs> and then number four is probably this guy. And then the G1 would probably be five. Uh, uh, I would really have to sit down and, and remember all the other Megatrons that are out there. The Energon one's pretty good too. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. So, uh, posability, his head is on a bald peg it looks like uh so you get the left and right a little up a little down a little side to side these pieces do not like to stay tabbed in 
Um, so I will probably end up gluing them in. Um, it's kind of annoying because it's like as soon as you go to manipulate them, um, they start coming out. Eyes are painted really well. Uh, nice glossy red in there. Um, shoulders are weird. And it's not a good Armada Megatron unless you have some sort of wonky <laughs> articulation issue. And what he's got, these do not rotate at all. Um, they'll, they'll slide down, and they slide down a little bit easier than I would like. I wish these things would actually lock into place. Um, that would be really nice, actually, if they were just to lock in where they're supposed to be. Um, but the way the arms work is you got this hinge here, much like the uh, rat trap that I really hated. Uh, so it's similar to that. Um, so it comes up to here, down to here, and it can rotate out to the side. Um, again, this joint is tighter than this joint, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but you work with it, uh, and it'll... And it'll work what you need to. Um, there is a bicep swivel in there and a bend at the elbow. Wrist does swivel. Um, you got the hollow gaps here. Um, and then a odd choice I thought is you've got this hand here which is the closed fist and that looks fine. And then you got this hand here which is like an open fist. Um, and it's just designed in a way where it looks a little Funky. So I don't know if something's supposed to something different supposed to plug in there. Um, waist swivel, hips. Ooh, they got ratchets. Up and down. Friction out to the side. Thigh swivel. Ratcheted knees. Could it kill you? Put a ratchet in there. Um, good tilt or rocker. And then you got the toe tilt uh, if you need it. Uh, the cannon will fold down over here and over to the side if you need that. Um, like you did in the show and the original toy. And then I believe you can even... Um, rotate it to the front. Um, like this. And this. And then, like, that's one of his little attack modes. I'm not saying it's it's a good thing, <laughs> but it is most definitely a thing uh, that he can do. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so fold that back up. And then, I'm now thinking... So one of the reasons why you could probably take that off is another feature he has is if you fold up his hand, he has this port here, and you can plug in. Oh, not that. Not that. So, nope, that is just annoying. But you can take this off and plug this in, and you can have, like, a, a blaster hand if you want to. I don't know why you would. But it is a feature that is available for the figure. Um, so I don't know if they're going to do a tidal wave. Um, I would definitely pick up a tidal wave. I don't. I would not do the combined mode <laughs> because I thought everything in Armada with their combined modes looked ridiculous. Um, but and. So for size comparison, here he is next to the Starscream. So he's a good size Megatron. Um, yeah, he's a beast. Uh, looks good. Um, uh, here he is with the Armada Starscream. Um, that, that looks good. And, oh, he didn't come with a Minicon. I kind of wish he did. And then here he is with the, uh, Fans Hobby version um who's both better and worse um yeah obviously it's a better figure um for a lot of reasons but like the shoulder like where he, he lacks articulation these things just kind of sit there and they're just kind of obnoxious uh, so it's like 
kind of win some, lose some with these guys. Um, I think ultimately I favor this one more because it's just it's just a little bit more fun to play with. Because uh, I flipped this guy back and forth like a dozen times since I got him. This guy I've transformed two times. One to test out and then one for transformation. And I can't remember if I saw, sent this one to Bobby or not. I know I sent the Prime to Bobby to transform. But I, I think he's only been transformed twice and I don't want to ever do it again. Um, it wasn't fun if I remember um, but yeah it's like you know I I'm probably going to sell this one um, the bigger one and stick with this one um, I'm actually now that we're in this point uh, you know by the time this video is up I've probably sold a lot of my MPs uh, and going back to a chug scale uh, just because I'm wanting to finish this collection at some point and the fact that with Chug I could toss in a number of different characters together and you know just be like ah whatever uh, whereas with the MPs you know like this guy's not gonna this guy does not fit well with your modern MP the cartoon style it just doesn't fit well with that at all so uh, yeah I don't know but anyway, um, yeah, time to time to move back to something that I can actually finish, you know, in the near future, and and be able to move on from that collection, and just be like, okay, I'm done with Transformers. Not that I would ever actually be done with Transformers. I'm sure there's always gonna be something I can buy, but I don't need to save up a month's rent <laughs> to buy something. But anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm I am enjoying some of these chug figures a lot more than the MPs, and that's another thing. You know, just enjoyment of the figure. Um, like I don't think I got any enjoyment out of him, and I don't I don't even remember how to transform him, and I don't even want to. Whereas this guy, I didn't even look out of the box. Yeah, he's got some issues. Uh, I'm gonna score wise, I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten. Um, I do think more than anything he really needed uh like these pieces here need to lock in um a little bit uh, they needed to lock in and these pieces here need to lock in um if he had those then i would probably give him a 10 even with the or um, the limitations in his arms um but like if this was locked in you know this would give me almost everything that I need. Um, you know what I mean? It's like, but it's like when I do that, you get that. So that, that is a problem. And then the horn's not really staying in either. That's just annoying more than it is, um, a problem. But, but yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's a good figure. I do like it. I hope, you know, it, it, see, this is a perfect example though. Like, so far with this legacy line we've already got three figures i don't have the prime yet uh, but i will be picking up the prime but it's like we've already knocked three out in such a short period of time um fans hobbies taking years to get the two and now they're almost ready with the third um but it's like i would like to have a modern represent representation of all of the armada characters like i want the thrust i want the demolisher i want the cyclonus i don't want to have to wait years and spend hundreds of dollars on each one like 35 and 55 here you know 80 90 bucks for these two and i spent more than that for the just the one and he doesn't even he doesn't quite look right either um but anyway i digress um, so yeah, anyway, I do recommend him if you're a fan of the Armada or if you just want a, <laughs> a beefy Megatron, um, you know, it is, it is a fun, fun little guy. Uh, he's just, he's just a beast. <laughs> it's, I, I, I do get a kick out of him. Um, and I, I am happy to have him. Um, even if he's not as good as the Starscream, like the Starscream's better figure, I think. But he just hits that those strings a little bit better for me. Please give me a thrust. 
I want a good thrust of it's all I've ever wanted was a really good thrust from Armada. Wow, that sounds really bad. Uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs>